Today, we're gonna to look at this. Tea break. Hello again, Mids1970 here. Now, if you watch my video where I bled my brakes out, you may have noticed that the front discs and pads on my Land Rover needed replacing. So, in today's episode, we're going to fit some nice brand new parts. You can see on this brake disc, there's barely any contact. Almost all of that section there this lighter brown lighter rust is where the pad should be touching time to fix it make sure your back wheels are chocked before you start Right, so while it's here, we'll take out these original brake pads. Keep the springs. Just so you can get them out. You can see where the rust is wearing these down. I don't know whether you can see the difference in colour in that ridge, but we've lost almost half the braking on that pad. That one's losing some of its braking force as well. Now, don't push the brake pedal, otherwise these pots will come out. And the calipers are held on by two bolts. There's one there. And there's another one up here. Now, you will need a socket, one of the multifaceted sockets like that, a 13 millimeter one, to get on the head of that bolt. Okay. So, for comparison, this is the one you need, not one of those that's only got six sides on it. Okay, one of them. One bolt. If the bolt's rusted on the head, like that one has, you might need to use a half inch. Now we're going to lift this tab up. 
blocking nut. And then use a blunt chisel or a drift. Power grips. Under the nut. Now these nuts aren't very tight. So pop off the washer. Now we have new washers, so we can discard that. Take this off. There's one bearing race. Oh. And there's the rest of it. And that's your stub axle. The next job is getting these bolts out. I'm going to give this a bit of a clean up, get all this old oil off it. The best way to do it is a bit of uh, that. Mums have been using it for years. See it breaking the oil and grease down now. Right, now these bolts in here that hold the disc on, they are a 15mm multifaceted socket. Now you're probably wondering, how the hell do you undo these when they're on the disc? Well a tip for you is this. You get your hub, and you fit your hub in the wheel, you get your socket, my apologies, it's a 9 16 socket.
recover the five bolts and washers. One disc ready for the scrapyard. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take out this old seal and replace it with one of the new ones that's come in the kit. You may as well change it now because the amount of years that generally go by between changing brake discs, you may as well just replace the seal. Big screwdriver, pops out really easy. Now these old bearings should be packed with grease. So what we'll do is we'll clean all this old oil off, pack this with grease and put it back in. seal bit of grease on there help it slide in now that tab on the old one was originally down so that's the way we're going to replace this one Now for the new disc. tighten these bolts up to 73 newtons and we do this in exactly the same way as we've got them undone by putting it in the wheel torque wrench set to 73 Slow continuous movement. And that's that part refurbished, ready to go back on the axle.
the next pair and clean. Pack it full of grease. Well, I've got to say, I honestly believe that the gear oil, when it's leaking through the hubs, is better. Better than the grease. So we tighten this first nut here up to 50 newtons and then we back it off, tighten it up to 10 newtons and then that should be set. I'm using a pair of these. I don't know how tight 50 newtons is but I'm having a good guess. That's tight. That still spins. Back it off loose 10 newtons is a little pinch and then in the kit you get new washers so we pop that washer on get our next nut And our lock nut, we do up to 50 newtons or <laughs> tight. And then with a blunt chisel, we tap over one side. That's now locked into place. We've got to give this a clean up. Get all the old paper gasket off it. We'll do that now.
right, the kit comes with a paper gasket. To fit the five bolts holding this end cap on. Torque for these is exactly the same as for the back. Brace it. Nice and steady. Two shims back on, and then a snap ring. two bolts out.
same torque again. Right, this is 82 newtons, but I don't have a torque wrench, so it's, uh, uh, let's see. Last thing we're going to do now is fit two new brake pads. Right. Once you've got enough room, there's some copper slip. Put some copper slip on the resting points down here on the back. And on the edges. on. Okay, in order to just get that last little bit of freedom in there, I've had to loosen the valve off and push a bit of brake fluid out. So, same again. Let's get dab on sides. Dab on the bottom, sides again, and then put 
put it on the back where the pistons are going to rub. Stop your brake squeal. Right. And to recover the spring clips. These are covered in grease. Now in the kit, you get new springs, and new oil clips, so you may as well use them. Same with these. You may as well coat these with grease. Right, I'm going to use my old R clips to be fair. And there we have the brake pins assembled with the spring, the anti rattle spring, and the R clips fitted across both of them. And it turns, it'll wear itself in pretty quick. Well, that's this side done and it's taken me hours so when i do the other side it'll all be on time lapse
well that's it new discs and pads fitted and in another video which you can watch i'll show you how to top up the oil for the knuckles and for the diffs as well all i've got to do now pop the wheels back on and take it for a test run i hope you've enjoyed watching me struggle with it and hopefully it might show you some easy ways of doing things as well well i hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have please remember to like comment and subscribe click the little uh, notification bell so that you get notified every time i post a new video well that's it from me goodbye for now enjoy your summer